Boys, you know I'm looking out for you. And today I had a thought, there's a couple of things when you are on your self-development journey, your journey to build your dream life, there's a few things that can really sort of push you off your course. And some people, they never recover from them. They literally never get back on course after these two things. So the two things I wanted to talk about today and just make you boys aware of and give my opinion on is weed and alcohol. Two drugs that are pretty much accepted within society and weed's being legalized quite a few places around the world. I know in Thailand, we've just had some sort of legalization in the Netherlands and in parts of America, you've got legalization coming through and weed is often made out now to be pretty good. Like people like Snoop Dogg, big advocates for weed, smoke weed every day, makes you more creative and all this sort of stuff. So I wanted to give you my opinion on it, on weed and alcohol, and just help you guys navigate it yourselves so that you do not lose periods of your life that could have been productive, that could have helped take you to that next level that you've got sucked into the fucking weed and alcohol mess that can often happen. So my opinion on weed is that it is very fun. It is a great way to sort of separate yourself from reality and slow things down for a bit, enjoy the moment. And it's one of the reasons why I smoke it. Like it, it really just, if you've got a big drive and a big goal to hit, it will make you basically step back from that for a little while, look at things from an outside perspective. The problem is weed makes life quite fun and makes things quite good. So if your life is bad and you smoke weed, you can have a good time doing nothing. You can have a good time just eating fucking crisps, playing video games all day, watching fucking TV with your friends and you are gonna be happy doing that. It's gonna make you content and it's gonna steal your drive away from you. So if you are currently in a bad position where you're not in great shape, not getting any work done, you're not making enough money and you're also smoking weed, one of the best things that you can do right now is stop smoking because that was seriously gonna steal your drive. It's gonna stop you from being as successful as you could have been. Now, what situations would I say it's okay to smoke weed? For example, if you have worked all week towards your purpose, your goal, you've made some great achievements and you'd like to maybe on a Saturday night have one joint with some friends and chill out in the evening, I think that's okay. That's personally what I do anyway. And I think that's all right because you, you have that one joint, you, you chill out for a bit on Saturday and it's back on the grind Sunday, getting things ready for the week ahead. It's really not interrupted you too much. For me, it gives me a nice break from the constant drive that's sort of in my head to achieve goals. And it gives me a sort of a minute to step back and just enjoy the scenery, hang out with friends, laugh, listen to some good music. So I do think there are some positives but I genuinely think you should smoke no more than one time a week because weed actually affects your dopamine level. So I have found if you smoke weed a couple days in a row, you can find the third day when you wake up. For me personally, I find it quite hard to get things done. I've got a bit of a cloud. I'm not feeling as elevated with my mood. I can feel sometimes a little bit down, a little bit depressed after smoking weed. And that's literally just weed. People say this stuff is like super safe. It, it can be incredibly addictive. So You've got to be careful with weed. Once you start smoking it, you can get used to that comfort and really fall into the trap. If you're currently smoking weed more than once a week, I think you are smoking too much, personally. I genuinely think you're smoking too much. You've got to go cold turkey on it. It's going to be difficult for the first few days. The best way I find to do this is write down what would your life look like if you continue on your current path, constantly smoking weed, not getting anything done. Worst case scenario, what's going to happen to your life? Scare yourself. Out of, drink, out of smoking weed and then put, if I quit weed and start being productive and using these hours for something good, where could my life be? And you compare the positives and the negatives. If your life looks like you basically being broke, sitting in your mum's basement, playing video games, eating cheesy watsits with no girlfriend in five years time and no money, a complete disappointment, why would you continue smoking? Compared to if you quit, you end up starting your own business, getting in great shape, becoming an absolute stud in front of your friends and family. So there are your two options. Now, the second part of this video is alcohol. I had a fairly, well, yeah, I'd say I had a fairly negative relationship with alcohol for quite a long time. When, when I got to 18, I'd been basically an athlete from 14 to 18, not any pro sports or anything like that, but I played football competitively two, three times a week. I was going to the gym five days a week. I'd boxed, I'd done a whole range of different things and I really had not touched alcohol on more than a few occasions. Now, when I turned 18, you're able to go to the club. You wanna hang out with your friends, you wanna get girls, and you end up getting drawn into that lifestyle. And it seriously, seriously misguided me off my course of where I wanted my life to go for multiple years, from 18 all the way through to 21. I think I, I started to give up booze. And uh, 
that whole time, what booze will do is it will steal your motivation. And if you're drinking two, three times a week, you're then getting two or three days of that week where your motivation is stolen. And it's that motivation you need to get yourself in the gym, to elevate your life to the next level. It's the hours after work when you're not drinking that you're reading, self-developing and learning new skills that elevate you out of the life that you're currently living. So if you are drinking alcohol and partying, you are literally distracting yourself because your life is not how you want it to be. That's, that's basically plain and simple. Unless you're successful and you're celebrating with drinks, like you're celebrating your success with drinks, if you're just drinking every weekend after a, a week at a nine to five that you didn't like, then you are literally distracting yourself from your dream. And you're, you're basically just doing it to cope, like cope with how bad your life is. So for me, I drink alcohol now very, very rarely. And I'd love to give you a resource if you want to control alcohol better and just feel sort of more in control of alcohol and able to say no to it, able to control your drinking, um, able to not drink as much or even want to drink as much, how to gain confidence without drinking, then I recommend you read the book, The Easy Way to Control Alcohol by Alan Carr. I was a heavy, heavy drinker. At university, I drank every single night, uh, maybe one or two bottles of wine every night, plus extra drinks when I went out. So I was an alcoholic for a whole year and it seemed completely normal. Um, in the university scene, I think drinking that much can be very, very normalized along with drug taking and all those other things. So you have to be super careful because it's not normal and it will steal your dreams. It will steal your physique so quickly. It will literally make you look like shit and you really, really don't need it. So if you're having trouble with alcohol, if you're drinking every week, if you're drinking every night, then I recommend listen to The Easy Way to Control Alcohol by Alan Carr and elevate your life. It was only after I gave up booze that I got the motivation to take my life to the next level, to leave a job that I didn't like, start my journey of content creation. It's just a, an important thing to be aware of that drinking as much as people say you should in the UK is not fucking normal at all. It's not good for you. You need to stop doing it. So there's my opinion on weed and alcohol. Weed once a week maximum to chill out. Other than that, it's gonna steal your drive and motivation. If you're going places, you don't need it. Trust me, it's fun enough on the way there. If you're using alcohol for confidence, you are basically hiding from the real you. You need to make yourself confident by improving your life. And you need to not use alcohol to hide that. I would recommend don't drink alcohol. But even I maybe drink alcohol one time a month. But at the moment, I really am not thinking about it. I don't want to drink it. It just takes away from your life. So there's my opinion on, on booze and, and weed. So... Take from that what you will. Keep being legends. Keep being gorillas. Got a flash of lightning there. That was an absolute flash of lightning. But there you go, boys. There's a better life out there. When you've achieved your dream, you don't need alcohol. I can tell you that much. But here you go, boys. Have a good night. Wabah!